Are our hearts on fire with God's love? This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. The Gospel reading today begins with these words of Jesus. I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blazing. In the symbolic language of the Bible, one meaning of fire is the purifying power that cleanses hearts from sin. Hence, the fire has come to set on earth is the burning fire of His love that will purify our hearts. Three, three weeks ago, my daughter and I had the privilege of joining a Marian pilgrimage to France and Spain. One of the sites we visited was near the village of La Salette in the French Alps. Mama Mary appeared to two young shepherds, Melanie, 14 years old, and Maximin, age 11. She appeared seated and weeping, and then she spoke to the children in French and in their dialect, weeping all the time. Mama Mary's message to the two children was the warning of a mother concerned over her wayward children. Part of her marriage was, and I quote, if my people refuse to submit, I will be forced to let go the arm of my son. More specifically, she said, those who drive the carts cannot swear without throwing in my son's name. And also, they labor all day Sunday. There are none who go to Mass. And when they do not know what to do, they just go to Mass just to make fun of religion. Our Lady of Lazarus' message was her concern for people to keep holy the day of the Lord and for them not to take the name of the Lord in vain. Mama Mary spoke also of a promise. And I read, If people are converted, rocks and stones will turn into heaps of wheat and potatoes will be self-sown in the fields. She spoke to the two children at length, but in the end, she said, Well, my children, you will make this known to all my people. The beautiful lady ends her message with ascending forth for Melanie and Maximin, and they fulfilled their role. It is up to us now how to live the message of Our Lady of Lazarus. Our Lord Jesus Christ, in today's reading again, gives us a reminder of His purifying love that cleanses our sins and His great desire for our hearts to be on fire with His love. Let us seek the grace of the Lord through the intercession of our Blessed Mother by going to confession and frequent reception, reception of the Eucharist. And let us pray. My dear Lord Jesus, through the intercession of Our Lady of Lazarus, may you grant us the grace to ask pardon for our sins and to allow your purifying love to remain with us always. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God bless your families. May God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.